Hey there, it's um, Justin Stone Diaz, and this is day eight of the Power of Meditation Real Happiness 28 Day Challenge that I'm participating in. Um, yeah, just um, doing the breathing meditations daily. Um, now I've read through the second part of the book. Um, really interested in the body scan meditation. Um, try to do it earlier but um found it hard to do um with the book i mean i've done versions of it before so i'm not unfamiliar with um body mindfulness meditations um but i'm going to try and do that later on or do that tomorrow um yeah just interesting things coming up in the meditation um i'm used to getting distracted by concrete images or concrete memories um but today there was um some emotional content that came up um, if I want to get new age and abstract about it um, yeah um, so the evening's breathing meditation was particularly intense for me um, but it, it was good um, ah, sound meditation ah and a train Yeah, um, nothing will teach you patience like trying to record audio um, close to a train track. Um, yeah, so yeah, um, the breathing meditation, a lot of stuff was coming up for me today. Um, I kept on slipping into other practices while I was doing the breathing meditation and I need to work on that um, and just focus on the breathing meditation. Um, as the emotional content came up, um, I ended up slipping into a Tara mantra without even realizing what I was doing. Um, yeah, and so when Sharon in the audio meditation or the guided meditation, when she um, talks about the sky again, that helped out because that was right when I was getting really distracted. Um, yeah, and also um, I'm trying to overcomplicate things, um, catching myself slipping into other practices. Um, yeah, and I'm having to um, keep my breath natural. Um, I've done a lot of um, other breath work um, and caught myself making myself very lightheaded um, as I was do as I was messing with my breath in the wrong way. Um, so the instruction just to um, let the breath be natural. Um, I realized that through all my different practices I've learned, um, my body can slip into other breathing patterns if I'm not mindful about it. Um, yeah, but that's a, that's for another topic. Um, but this whole video thing's really interesting for me. Um, the tradition I practice in, it's you usually, any meditation experience or insight, um, you don't really talk about. Um, with just random people. Um, you talk to your teacher about it, um, but the Tibetan tradition um, doesn't really place much value in the idle talk about um, the phenomena that arises during meditation. Um, and that's one of the reasons I enjoy um, Tibetan meditation, or at least the tradition. Um, yeah, because um, as Sharon says, a lot of fantastical things can come up and um, the mind's very creative. Um, so um, learning to talk about, th about these things um, in a video format is interesting for me. Um, yeah, so um, thanks for listening and um, Hope to hear some comments, um, so comment on the video, please. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Share it. Um, yeah, but uh, most of all, contact me on Twitter or on Facebook. I'd love to connect with people. Um, and thanks for the people that uh, have connected with me. Um, yeah, um, the Ohm crew. Um, yeah, um, so it's interesting to connect with existing sanghas and digital dharma people. Um, which is something that I've been craving for, craving. Um, so yeah, thanks for listening again and um, see you online and 
see you on the map.